Hi everyone, this is Gerald from Merch Studio, and today we are going to learn how to create a gang sheet using Canva. If you're not familiar with the term gang sheet, that's just a fancy way of saying uh, putting all of your graphics in one printable file that you send to us. And this is what a gang sheet looks like. And today we're going to learn how to do that. Okay, so we're going to start by going to the Canva homepage. On the top right corner, there is a create a design button. We're going to click on that. All the way to the bottom, there's an option for a custom size. We're going to choose that. And we're going to make sure that our unit of measure is in inches. And our print width is 22 because that is our maximum print width. For height, you can go as low as 12 inches. And for Canva, the maximum height that you can go is about 83 inches. So we're going to go 80 in height. If you need more than 80 inches, in height for your gang sheet, you can always make a second gang sheet and send both of them to us. Now for this tutorial, we're gonna just do 12, uh, 12 inches because that's the minimum that we can go with. So this is your 22 by 12 empty gang sheet. So this is your artboard. And assuming that you already have your artwork, what we're gonna do next is on the left side, we're gonna click on uploads, click on upload files. And I kind of like this turtle and I want to put this on a shirt. So I'm going to click on that and bring that into Canva. You're going to see that around this area here. There you go. So once you have the artwork there, you can click on it and Canva is going to bring it to your artboard. Once there, there are a few things that you can do with this. You can crop it if you like using these uh, options. In the corners, you have these circles. If you click on drag that, you can resize your image. As you can see, it tells me what the width and height of the image is. I'm gonna keep this at 9.5 inches width and 7.4 inches height to keep the scale. All right, so we have our first artwork there. We're gonna add a few more. So again, for all the artwork that you wanna put in, just click on upload files and choose the artwork and bring it in. So I have a few more art, uh, artwork that I want to get printed. So we're going to go and go ahead and bring them in. I'm going to start with this one. So I need one copy of that. And this as well, I need one copy, but I need it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to drag it like so. And for this one, I need about pocket size. So I'm going to go with, oh, since there's some space on the size, I'm going to go with 3.7 so that it prints at about 3.5 there. All right, so far looking good. Now, if I need more copies of this, what I can do is while I have this artwork selected, I can press Control C and then Control V, which will copy paste it. I can also go copy, right click, copy and then right click paste. And it'll give me another copy of that. So our, our last artwork here is this thing here. And it's a little bit too big. So I might need to make my artboard bigger. Or I'm just going to make this one smaller. Like so. To make it fit like that. But if I want to add, say, a Merch Studio logo there, that's not going to fit in there. So I'm just going to make it smaller. like this okay now if i wanted another copy of this again i'm going to do Control c Control v but that's not going to fit that way so maybe if i turn it around i'm going to be able to do that there okay so now your gang sheet is ready you can send it to me in one of two ways you can either download it as an svg file or you can copy the link to your project and share your project with me we're going to start off by um, downloading it as an SVG. The way that you do that is you click on the share button here on the upper right corner. You're going to click on download. And again, you're going to need your Canva Pro for this. But you choose SVG, click transparent background and download. Once that's downloaded, you can send that file to me and I'll be able to open it and print it out for you in 300 DPI. Now, another way that you can get your project to me is by sharing the project with me through Canva. And the easiest way that I've found to do that is to click on the share button on the upper right corner and make sure that you have anyone with the link 
can edit are chosen. I'm not going to edit your file in Canva. What I'm going to do is make a copy and download that copy of a file. But these settings just help us avoid possible delays that come from, you know, blocking my access to your account. So anyways, once you have anyone with the link can edit, just click on copy link, send an email to Gerald at merchstudio.co and paste the link there. And once I have that link, I can open it, download it as an SVG file and do all that stuff for you. So I hope this video helped. And before I sign off, I'd just like to uh, let you know that I share this video with Macy of Graphic Tea Academy. We're good friends and I wanted her to audit it. And she helped me realize that one of the images that we have here is not optimized for direct film printing. And that graphic is this turtle because it has both semi-transparencies, as you can see here and some soft edges here, 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 and here. So when we, when we say soft edges, all we mean is the graphic fades out into the white background or into the transparent background. And that's not good if you have that because uh, we print our graphics with a white underbase and that white underbase tends to show wherever you have some soft edges. So it's, it might end up looking like a white halo around that area. And if you are pressing on a white shirt, that's not a big deal. But for the most part, we want to be able to use our direct-to-film prints or transfers on any color shirt that our customers want. So please uh, avoid that. And Macy, thank you for that insight. If you learned something from this video that you can use in your t-shirt business, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to get more tutorials like this in the future, consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.